weather finally gave us enough break for Kurt to get out and put his lily white legs in display, on display <laughs> in some shorts. Um, it was warm enough for shorts. Yeah, it was enough. in Columbus. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, the guys at the flying field got to enjoy that, and you got to enjoy the zipper. So. Well, since the, I, I painted the zipper, that didn't blind them, you know, with the pure white foam. So I figured I had to, I had a little bit of room to work with. Yeah. Can, yeah. Oof. It was beautiful, and it's the, as you said, the first chance we've gotten yeah. to fly in several months or a few. Not months that we've had so. a bad winter in Ohio at all. No, no, man. It's been lovely. So we got the zipper out, and and now it's time to go through all the pertinent information. Pertinent. So. Well, we know Go we ahead, can, Maestro, start with your review scoring. Let's do it. Model characteristics, build as advertised. You gave it a five out of five. Very simple assembly. Um, paint is separate, and that's yeah. addressed separately, but assembly is quick and easy and very yeah. basic. So, All right, finish. We gave it a three out of five, and um, the reason it got a three out of five, it's not because of the finish of the foam. The finish of the foam actually is quite nice, which mm -hmm. we're kind of getting used to all foam planes coming in with a decent finish now. Yeah. It's the fact that the box shows it in very nice color scheme. The box shows it painted, the website shows it, all the, of course all the media yep. shows it painted, which if you have a pure white plane, you're not gonna be like, oh, here you go. It's, exactly. You're gonna get excited about this blob of white but foam. I guess the thing that kind of put us back a little bit with it was the fact that they just didn't give you any kind of decals or anything to zip it up, you know, to, yeah. to spruce it and up, and exactly normally they it. do. You could, you know, if you had some striping or something, yeah. you know, they could put in a decal to stripe with, yep. anything to give it a little bit of, you know, maybe the, if they gave you the canopy and then a, a, a sticker that you could just put a single stripe around the you know up or around the cowl and then down through the side of the anything slide. to even differentiate top to bottom of wing yep. helps checkerboards yeah. you know stuff like that a few yeah. stickers they if you aren't going to paint it fine but give me some stickers so yeah. i can throw it together other than their branding yeah. other than the branding yeah. stuff yeah so that was but you know that's that's the best it you're going to do on, on a painted yeah. fuselage the best you're going to do is three if the foam's really smooth which it was so yeah exactly all right. Well, you, we, we've kicked that enough. Let's go to <laughs> let's go to power now. And then, of course, I painted this a while back. So if we'd have done this right when I painted it, I probably would have given it a two, <laughs> maybe a one and a half. It might have gotten a minus one. Because you forgot to paint. You were I was like, Oh my gosh! Uh, wow. Power four out of five. Yeah. Now you have to understand. I guess there's this balance, not a compromise, but a balance. How much runtime do you want? How much performance do you want? Um, is it enough for the airframe to get pulled through the air effectively for the type of flying that you're going to do with it? Yeah. I mean, when you look at this style, this design, I, I think jet, I think, you know, jet trainer is, is that kind of, you know, turbo, turbo prop jet trainer type yes. thing. So you want, you're going to have more of that, you know, cutting straight lines, cutting clean lines, more aggressive yeah. jet trainer type flying characteristics or style. Um, so you want enough power to be able to pull through those yep. maneuvers. Now, if you take this airframe and you put it into an EDF, configuration. If it was a ducted fan airframe, of course it would change the design quite a bit, but um, you kind of look to that capability. You want that close to one-to-one -one thrust ratio, but you don't have an unlimited climb on this by any means. Yeah. But it's enough to get it through just about any of the aileron elevator only airframe design maneuvers sure. that you're going to pull off inconsistently and over and over again. So power was good. Power wasn't rip it out of your hands and go crazy. Yeah. I've heard of some people flying 2S batteries on this. I wouldn't even entertain it. it just Unless you were indoors, perhaps. You wanted to try you know, pulling off indoor flight or something. Yeah. But, um, uh, you could do 2S, but 3S is the way to go. Yeah. Um, so, All right, well, let's move on to ground handling. Four out of five. Yeah, it, it's the <clears throat> airframe, the, the thing that I liked about it, which, again, flight is advertised, but when you get the, when you take the power off a zipper, it glides beautifully. It's a great gliding airplane. Is it? So yeah. That's so good. when you get in the ground effect, of course, it's going to behave well. Um, you know, when you're belly landing it, so you're just bringing it in and yeah. setting it down. But you can really slow that thing down nicely when you bring it in, and uh, it stabilizes nice. Now, if it's windy, if it's a you know a little bit of a breezy day like we were flying, mm -hmm. you know, three to five gusting around five, um, you're going to run into problems if you're crosswind at all. You know, because it's so light, there's not, sure. there's no mass there, sure. there's no, you know, significant surface area to be able to counter what's taking place. So you can get on your ailerons all you want if you get a good gust, and it's trying to tip you over. Yeah, you're not going to have the authority to pull it right back down. So, keeping in mind it's a very light, very small airframe. Mm -hmm. You know, it handles extremely well. Yeah. All right. Well, durability four out of five. Yeah, we nosed it over a few times bringing it in. Again, caught a wingtip with the uh, with the crosswind, and it flipped it up and did a quick little cartwheel. You're just going to damage the uh, cone. They give you two nose cone, uh, spinners uh, in the kit, and um, I, hindsight, I'd have just left it white because yeah. no matter what type of paint you put on yeah, foam, crack. as soon as it gets smashed in the ground and compressed, it just yeah. pops all the paint off. So I think the idea is not to smash not it. Not to smash it. Yeah, exactly. But um, just, just 
I, I'd, uh, throwing that out there. That's the only thing you're going to do. And the, the great thing about foam is there's a couple different methods. One, which we haven't covered on a clinic, but um, you, know, you can boil them back into shape yes. if you want to get them to come back out. Yes. Um, and uh, you can, a lot of times, just kind of give a little bit of a tweak with your fingers. Sure. If you leave it white, you can just kind of pull yeah. on it and straighten it out a little bit and then stick it back on. You're going to want to apply some CA, though, and we talk about that in the assembly clinic to keep that spinner One on. One thing that doesn't work is stock this. as it just pulls right off. Yeah. So you're going to lose that very quickly. But One thing that doesn't work is to sit and stare at your damaged plane. No, it I doesn't. I tried that, and it just doesn't go back. Try to will it back into yeah. shape. Yep. Will the paint back on it? Doesn't work. Okay, pilot experience. Flight is advertised. Four point five out of five. This is a fun flying little plane. Aileron elevator plane. Now, if you're, you know, committed to rudder control for the maneuvers that you like executing yeah. the most, if you like to flatten out your turns, um, you're going to be compromised in some of those areas. But that's not what it's intended for. It's yeah. meant to be that flick, you know, flick of the wrist at the at the park. Go fly it. Have some fun. Burn through a couple batteries and go home. Yep. Um, get out. You get out. It handles in virtually well. Um, it's as far as you know what you'd expect. You have you have no rudder control whatsoever, and you're you're coming up into a heavy bank. Unless you're just pouring the coals to it, you know it's going to want it's going to slip sure. on you. Um, but a tiny little bit up elevator, and it holds its line really well through yeah. the bank uh, bank turns, and uh, behaves extremely well. So uh, you're going to find that it cuts some really nice clean lines and uh, has really good authority on all axes um, when you're in flight. Even when you slow down on the power, when you compromise down on the on the throttle, so you know you can fly this at a three quarter throttle or a you know just over half throttle, yeah, and execute the majority, if not all, of the maneuvers you can pull off with a you know uh, with the uh, aileron elevator only plane. So it it was fun. I mean, it's bottom line was it was just fun to fly. Yeah. It handled it well. It was a great airframe design. The airfoil on the main wing yep. to the uh, aerodynamics in the fuselage, everything. The tail is just the right size. Yeah. It has a lot of good things going for it, and it made it fun to fly. So mm -hmm. that's that's good. That's the important thing. Flight time, we kind of talked on this a little bit. Four out of five? Yeah, I mean, you're getting about four to five minutes. Four out okay. of five. Uh, four to five minutes, maybe. It depends on how hard you're hard to throttle. We could have gotten more out of it if I hadn't been driving it through sure. the air like I was. Yeah. If I had just been trying to just enjoy the flight and play around with the air, yeah. I could have. I could have. I'm etching your legs for getting cold. Floating. Floating. But it was all right. It was a nice was day. It? it was like 60. It was 60 down in... We got up to 70, actually. We hit 70 on the way back. They weren't hurting when you were done? Yeah, not like up here by the lake where you guys were, I don't know, 10 below still. And No, it was nice. It was great. Yeah. It's amazing what two hours can make. Difference. Oh, I know. It's crazy. So, um, but uh, yeah, it was... 48 that day. It was... Uh, I could have played in the wind. I yeah. could have, you know, just floated around and got more time out of it. But expect that you're going to get four to five minutes of flight out of it. All right. Field size, you have a large park. Yeah, this is a great park flyer. Okay. Speed's not going to exceed the limits. The weight isn't. The wingspan isn't. It's fine. As always, be responsible if you're flying at a you know public park. Make sure, sure that it's allowed, uh, that RC flight's allowed. Secondly, make sure you avoid cars and people, and you do it in a big open area yep. away from everyone. So, But uh, this is a perfect little park flyer size. Portability, five out of five. That's it's, kind of obvious. Small. small. Very small and yep. easy. In fact, what I do is pop the spinner off. And just set it now, that, you didn't have that glued on for the flight, is that correct? I did, oh, yeah. I actually did? put a little okay. spot of glue on for the flight. Right. And then when I, when I hit, it stayed on. I never lost a spinner, but it you know, it did the big, big yeah. uh, like the crow beak, beak or whatever. Yeah. yeah, It did the crow beak, so it was going, yeah. you know. So just I just drop in your coffee. Pop some morning. Yeah, drop in your with hot the, coffee. With the paint and everything It'll come right in. Yeah. Just don't drink the coffee. Well, I don't, so that's why I drop in yours. <laughs> Last one Skill there. level <laughs> intermediate. Yeah, it's an intermediate flyer, even though it's, you know, these small planes, a lot of people think, oh, it's just a little RC plane. Yeah. It's easy to fly. It won't be difficult. Nah, that's not the case. No. It all goes down to the design, the, uh, um, you know, the inherent characteristics of it, the speed, everything that goes along with it. Um, things happen fast on small planes. Oh, and yeah, this they thing do. thing cruises along pretty good. Yep. You're going to clip, you know, 40-plus miles an hour very easily yep. with a zipper on your pass. And I think um, guys get complacent with, um, you know, small planes are very popular, and when small, meaning indoor small flyers, and then when mm -hmm. they see something like this come out, this has all the characteristics of the larger planes as far as what's required to fly it, but yet it's got the compact size. And I think they kind of get, oh, well, I can do that. Yeah. I can do that. And yeah, ultra can't. micros are slow. Oh, yeah. Ultra yeah. micros are under camera wings. They're, yep. they're, they're just inherently slow, uh, yep. typically. I see they aren't all are under camera wings, but they're slow by comparison. There are some exceptions. Uh, the MIG, the yeah. F-86 uh, sure. micro EDFs, those are an exception. Yep. These fly, this flies faster than those. Yeah. So, you know, take the take the, the the MIG or the F eighty six and and increase the speed, but barely increase the size. Yeah, and it's also hard to keep keep track of with your eyes. Sure. So if you're a newer yeah. fly, a newer newer pilot, 
you yep. don't quite have your orientation down to where you're confident flying the sticks and not letting your eyes confuse you. I know where it's at. I know what it's doing. Yeah. A small size like this can get can get really sure. hard to see and it's easy to lose orientation. But um, right. it's fun. It's a you know, it's a zipper. <laughs> I was waiting for you to bring it back One in. last time. One last time. Well, that about zips this review that up, does doesn't it? Really if you want to see the full <laughs> review, you can go to our website at 2bfly.com. Um, for our mobile users, you can go to uh, rcflightsource.com and download the mobile app, take the content with you on the go, check your flying fields, make some calculations, check your email. We don't do that inside the app, but they can check it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Kurt with Two Brothers Hobby. And I'm Rob. Thanks for watching.